Hey, hey, everybody. Happy rainy Sunday here in D.C. And spirit guides are really hitting me hard about talking about sunscreens. Again, I've done videos on them over the years. Um, and, of course, these are my, my, my opinions as a medical aesthetic person and someone who's worked in dermatology and plastic surgery as well as cosmetic sales. So this is my own education uh, because if I'm going to educate you on a product that is healthy for you so that you can make a better choice, then I have to educate myself, okay? Choices are always everybody else's, but let me at least understand it. So I'm seeing a lot of stuff out there about don't use titanium dioxide, etc. And I, I and I get it. So first, let's let's back up a little bit. Let's talk about the two types of sunscreens. There's physical and there's chemical. Physical is your titanium and your zinc. It sits on top of the skin. It does not absorb. It sits on top of the skin and it reflects the UVB rays. Chemical, all of these lovely things and more, absorb into the skin, do a conversion in the skin, and then send the UVBs out as heat. So you ever notice when you're using a chemical sunscreen, sometimes you just feel like your skin just can't breathe. And when you get off the beach or from whatever, or golfing or whatever you're doing, you just gotta get that stuff off you. It's like this, 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 this glue that's happening. I can't stand it, it drives me insane. So that's the difference between the two types of sunscreens. So back in 2017, 16, 17, when I was doing a lot more cosmetic sales, um, I was researching different uh, ingredients and different things and sunscreens came up. And it was my understanding at that time, they had already banned a chemical called oxybenzone, okay? Oxybenzone. But what they did from my understanding is they gave manufacturers like a 10 year window to come up with other formulas before it was actually technically had to be removed from their products, Could, couldn't be added into future products. And I thought to myself, 10 years, seriously? So why are they banning it? Well, they found that the chemical sunscreen of oxybenzone was killing the ocean reefs. Now the ocean reefs are the lungs. They are the filtration system of our oceans. They are safe haven to many of our marine life, their nutrition to many of our marine life. Plus they are so beautiful to see when you scuba dive, all right? So I was like, what? So if it's killing the barrier reefs, what the hell do you think it's doing on your physical? Like this makes no sense. Like they didn't figure that out first? No. So every time you're getting into the ocean, the lake, you're taking a shower, all the water that was carrying what they wanna call just the oxybenzone is going into the oceans and killing, killing marine life. And the reef is a living, breathing marine life that is absolutely essential for ocean, ocean filtration, okay? So now let's talk about some of the other chemicals that are in the sunscreens. So you've got the, the OV benzone, you've got the um, omosalate, you've got the oxysalate, all of these that you will see, usually you'll see about three of them on a sunscreen, maybe four. This is how I started training. When you see the O's, oh no, put it back. And if you are gutsy enough, write the companies. Just stop buying it. Just stop buying it. Some of your main brands, you will still see have oxybenzone in them. I can promise you, if you go into any store to buy sunscreen, that freaking ingredient will still be on there, knowing what they know, because they gave them this huge window to replace it. But what people are doing is they're replacing it 
with more favorable chemicals that slide under the scale of approval, okay, you also need to understand that cosmetic sales are not FDA approved. Not that that approval means a whole lot, but it does mean they had to submit all their scientific, all their factual things in for that and actually get a license for it once it's passed. Okay? I'm not saying that that gives it a lot of credibility, but at least they, they can't just grab something out of the ground and throw it in something and say, hey, this works. But there's a lot of smoke and mirrors going on in cosmetics. So now let's talk about the titanium. So titanium has been FDA approved as toxic over 25%. So now let's talk about it in your sunscreen. So you're taking it into your sunscreen. So most of that toxicity of that, because that's a topical, it's not absorbed deeper into the epidermis. So it's less likely that it's getting as much into the bloodstream as a chemi chemical that has to sink in and convert. Okay, so this is more topical. So you're getting less through the bloodstream and more through inhalation. So all those cosmetics that you're using, I can promise you, all have titanium dioxide in it. So where does your 25% stop? That's the big question. One of the biggest things that happens when you get these chemicals into your bloodstream, they don't exit, my friends. They bury themselves in your organs because they're foreign. The body, the blood doesn't know what to do with it. And then after time, it becomes toxicity in the body, which is why one of the first cleanses everyone should do, that at least I've done, that's been recommended to me by multiple healers and medical practitioners is a metal detox, right? So where is titanium dioxide? It's in everything. Let's talk about how you ingest it. It's in your ice creams, it's in your pastries, it's in your yogurt, it's in your mayo, it's in your candies, it's in creams, it's in all kinds of things and that you're ingesting it. You're not just taking it in through the respiratory system. You're taking it in through the mouth and going through the digestive tract and it doesn't exit out. So over time, that is why many of us are getting toxic allergic reactions to things that maybe we didn't have before and it's because we're not getting optimal uh, performances from other beautiful systems in this physical avatar. And so when that's not functioning high, it really weighs down the mental, the emotional, the spiritual, okay? Because we all want to look good and feel good, right? So there are a lot of things that we can choose. You know, we can't get away from a lot of stuff, but we can pick and choose what it is that we're bringing into our home, not just our brick and mortar, our avatars. And then if we're bringing it in there, we're giving it to the babies, we're giving it to our loved ones because we're not taking the time. We're blindly buying. And these billion dollar advertising industries they know if they keep flashing products in front of you, when you go into the store, you're just going to pick it up blindly because you saw it on enough commercials that were eye-pleasing to you because you didn't do your due diligence and actually look at what it is that you're purchasing and that, that you're placing on your largest breathing organ that houses waterproofs, gives shape and figure to your body as a protective mechanism that takes out toxicities the best it can and brings in nutrients. 
and then what it does to all the unseen functions of the human body. So we wonder why, duh, everyone's getting sicker or having things flare up. And then what are you, what are you given? You're given an, an OTC over the counter med or you're given a script to fix a problem, which are just a bunch of band-aids. So again, this is my humble opinion from my own experiences. I've lived my life pretty holistically, meaning I, I research a lot of things and I like to feel good about what I pick and choose for myself. And it's nobody's freaking business to judge, just like I don't judge when people buy, but if people come to me, whether it's skincare, healing work, or anything, I, I have a a spiritual code of ethics to treat you as lovingly as I would treat myself or treat my children or treat my sisters or my mother or it's the people that I love to cherish that because I have an opportunity to share that information with you. So hopefully you've softened and begin to educate yourself and then you're protecting and loving all of those in your circle of life. That's the importance of understanding this. So when you see all of these O's, oh no. O oh to the hell no. And start picking and choosing things. Before you start buying ice creams and certain yogurts and all these candies. Before you allow your dermatologist and plastic surgeon to hand you a CeraVe or a, a La Roche Posay. And you come to me and say, oh, my dermatologist, oh, they, they gave it to me. This is what I use. It's like, yeah, those were samples dropped off by a rep. And they're just giving you something to make you happy. So you're leaving with something. Yeah, besides a piece of paper to get your next script. Come on, people. This is a vicious cycle we are in. And it takes us one person at a time to say, oh, no, no more no more. So before you start freaking out about titanium dioxide in your sunscreens, start looking at all the things that you're ingesting. And you'd realize that every time you spray something in the air and all these cleaning products that you're using, all these, um, toiletry products, hairspray, mousses, all the stuff that you're spraying in the air, you're inhaling these chemicals. And over time, our body breaks down because it doesn't know what to do. And there really isn't a fix. So start cleaning off your shelves one by one. You know, don't say, oh, I spent $20 on this. I'm just going to go ahead and finish it and then never buy it again. No. Idiot. Have the courage to say not another day. Not another day. Okay. Own love and respect your column of light. Own love and respect the beautiful family that you have. And that all your brothers and sisters, this will all echo out one person at a time. And together we can make change in this world. Yes. We can. All right. Please like, subscribe, and share this video so other people can get my spin on it, which is a spin of reality. Why? Because everything has to be kept simple. Everything has to make logical sense on how you function during your day. It has to be kept simple. Simple is smart. Yeah. All right. See you on the next video. Bye.